this is your host speaking. Uh, you're listening to call 362 Niner Tango en route to our second date. Uh, we've reached our cruising altitude, and if you look out the, uh, the left side window, you can see our flight attendant, Chelsea, playing in a park sandbox. Oh on a first date with a guy named Adam. This is a weird area we're uh, flying over. You look out the right window, you could see Chelsea stumbling into that guy's apartment for a quick in-town layover <laughs> while Adam checks out other Tinder profiles. Oh, so, oh, ouch. You'll notice I have turned on the lower your expectations sign because <laughs> Adam has not responded to her calls, Uh-oh. but... We're going to find out why very shortly. Mike. Please remain <laughs> seated for the remainder of the phone call. And uh, thank you for flying B&J Airlines. Okay. My oh. ears are popping. That was great. That was, that was good. really good. See, I good. missed my calling. God. And I forgot to order my ginger ale. Uh, oh, damn. It's too late now. They already passed. It doesn't taste as good when you're on the ground. <laughs> but if you're just tuning in for the second date, one of our listeners, Chelsea, is a flight attendant. And she's reaching out for help from us because she's trying to get a hold of a guy named Adam, who she spent a short layover with while she was in town and hasn't been able to reach him since, even when she came back to see him again. Mm -hmm. So she's hoping to figure out what happened. Isn't that right, Chelsea? Yeah, honestly, I feel like I'm a catch. I have been told that I am definitely a hashtag snack. Hashtag snack. (laughs) Oh, Oh, yeah. (laughs) I mean, hashtag in, in flight snack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to be more like hashtag main course meal is what it sounds like because mm-hmm. you actually want to you want to date him, right? I do. Do you think that there's any chance that maybe like, I don't know, you turned it into more of like a fantasy one night fling by wearing the flight attendant outfit oh, on I the day? I forgot date? about that. That was so hot. I honestly feel like no. Okay. That's why I called you guys because everything went perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, let's give Adam a call and see if he wants seconds on that snack, okay? I'm going to dial the number right now. You ready? Okay, ready. Okay. It's in first class. So it's yeah, I know. It <laughs> it's like lobster. Here we go. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Adam. This is Adam. Hi, Adam. My name's Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. I'm hoping you have a second to talk with us. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Man, a few That's words, Adam. I like that. <laughs> Get that a lot. Uh-huh. No. We're the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We do a segment on our show called A Second Date. Are you familiar with that? You ever heard of that before? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I have not. Okay. That's all right. I'll explain it to you. Basically, the idea is if you go out on a date with someone and afterwards, if that person isn't calling you back, you can email our show and we'll reach out to them for you to figure out the reason why. Okay. And so you recently went out with someone who has been having a hard time getting a hold of you. Oh, okay. Have you gone out on a lot of dates recently? No, not really. Okay. Well, maybe if I just said a name, it would refresh your memory. Yeah, that, that would probably help. Okay. How does Chelsea sound? Yeah, I know Chelsea. That's well, good. Yeah. I know you know her. <laughs> I'm just trying so. to figure out the reason why you've been avoiding her lately. Um, I don't know. She's just, you know. Oh, come on, guys. Um, <laughs> I mean, the thing, is, I know. I know. the thing is, we don't know. That's why we're calling. I mean, was it more of just like a one night fun thing for you instead of like looking for a relationship? Honestly, that's what I thought it would be. But by the next morning. I was sure this is something special, but oh, yeah, oh, you did have feelings for her. That's really Listen, sweet. Okay. I've been in relationships in the past that have serious trust issues hmm. and I can already see that that's going to be a problem with her. So I just oh. I'm saving myself some heartache and pain. If you don't trust her because she hid behind that tree in the park, she came back. <laughs> So she's obviously not untrustworthy. No. I mean, you're talking about red flags is what you, mm. you're, you've seen some red flags. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's the right word for it. Yeah. What red flags are you talking about? Well, I don't know how much she told you guys about the date. Well, she said you guys met on Tinder while she was in town for a 24 hour layover. You guys went out to drinks, spent some time in the park. She spent the night at your place and you drove her to the airport the next morning. And she wore the dress on the date, bro. He's talking about the flight attendant outfit. Yeah, he knows. Oh, but... he knows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dress was real nice. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. But what about Chelsea herself? Like, why don't you want to see her again? 
Well, so she told you that I drove her to the airport mm-hmm. the next morning, right? Yeah, that was really yeah, nice so of you. She said that you insisted on driving. Her. And uh, she was really impressed yeah. by it because it felt chivalrous, which mm-hmm. was something that was new, right? Honestly, I did it because I really liked her. And I was like, I knew I wanted to see her again. Right. And so, you know, like when you're at the airport, like there's that drop off. And honestly, I just, it sounds cheesy, but I wanted to see her one more time. So I just kind of like pulled off to the side just to see her like walk inside. Oh, like a movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like I'm picturing Dumb and Dumber. Me where it like no. rear ends the, in the limo. Goodbye, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, but this yeah. is cute. This is cute. Well, it wasn't cute because yeah. I like see her not go into the terminal. Huh. She goes and gets in the cab stand line. What? Gets in a cab and like drives away. What? what? She, she left even... the airport? Yeah. That is a red flag. She lied. <laughs> Could, wait, hold on. There could be like a reason for this. Like maybe her car was parked in a parking uh, lot somewhere out there. Or her flight could have gotten delayed. Did... Or she has a like crash pad nearby uh, with girlfriends. Did you and... drop her at the right airport? <laughs> <laughs> I dropped her at the right airport. It's like some little field in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> He's like, oh, this isn't the right place. No, she told me she was late and she needed to hurry. Oh, so, really? oh, no. no. Adam. I, I didn't know you saw that. Oh, wait, I, hold on, hold Chelsea. On. <laughs> wait, you're supposed to wait till I call you in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, she just got caught. Yeah. So. Well, okay. Um, Adam, this is kind of ruined, but I was supposed to let you know that Chelsea's been secretly listening on the other line and wants to talk to you. Uh, okay. Hey, um, I, I, I didn't know that you saw that. Uh, that's not an excuse. Like, yeah. Maybe if you said it breathier next time. <laughs> Maybe he'll believe you. Chelsea, what are you doing? Are you cheating on somebody? I mean, that's how Adam feels right now. He feels lied to. Absolutely not. I am being 100% honest. Mm. I did get in that cab, but I I just, I had to go get something real quick. What? I don't know. Okay, but like, that's so important. Plan B? No? (laughs) The scarf. Was it, wait, was it plan B? Is that what you just said? (laughs) Book, you're right. Yeah, I. Wait, what? I, oh, shut up. They don't sell it at the airport. Oh my they god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my gosh! I thought that Brooke was kidding. You guys, you just met on Tinder. Wrap that up. What are you? Uh, doing? No, not even that. Make the guy pay for it. Yes. <laughs> what? So really, Chelsea? That's why you left the airport? Yeah, I didn't know how to say that to you. I just. <laughs> I didn't want to ruin the moment, you know, and I... He made the moment, Chelsea. Like, I feel like, what are you talking about? You, you're you intimate enough to do all that with someone, but then you can't talk about, like, repercussions? Yeah. I-, I don't know. I, I just wanted everything to be perfect. Uh, okay. So, now that you know that, Adam, how do you feel? I wish you had just told me. Like, yeah. I wouldn't have... Fr- I mean, I guess I understand why you didn't, because maybe most guys would freak out. I would have... Yeah. I would have brought you wherever you needed to go to get it. But I would have paid for it. I don't know. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. <laughs> he still sounds like a little yeah. shaken. Though. I mean, is it possible that Chelsea's lying? She just heard what Brooke said and thought that's a better excuse than whatever she was really doing. Brooke, you guys, no, come on! on I did not. I did not. Where'd you go to get it? Right in. See? Okay. I don't know where you get it. That could be <laughs> yeah. wrong. What, what? I mean, yeah. that's the thing. What, what like, color is it? That's a weird thing. It's like it shouldn't be a weird taboo thing to it talk is, to the though. other half of the partnership no, about but... what type of sexual health items you need. But usually you have a girlfriend like take you the next day. Like I don't ask the guy, but she didn't have a girl there, so yeah. she went alone. Well, I get Brooke it. has them in like Tic Tac form. She just pops <laughs> them every morning. So, uh, I'm, I'm a big proponent of protected sex. Thank okay. you very much. Boring. Jeffrey. You don't want to talk to every guy about that. All right. So, so Adam, what do you think? Do you believe Chelsea? That's really what she went off to get. I really, I, I, I really want to, I, I want to believe it. <laughs> they have like, such good chemistry. I know they, they talk yeah. at the exact same each time. Other. Wait, you actually have a receipt. Like uh, on my bank statement, I'll screenshot that and show you the no, date. You don't no. have to prove it. You don't have to do no. that. No, that's, that's icky. That is icky. Is that what you're asking ask. for her to do, Adam? No, no. I believe you. You don't need to show me a receipt like that. Oh, good. That's really romantic of you. I would say, Adam. <laughs> what a gentleman. He yes, really, he he chivalry really is. isn't dead. That's, that's a business class type of man, right yeah. there. <laughs> All right. So now that She's we've. She's a keeper, by the way. I agree. We've reached an agreement here, and at this point, I would like to offer to send you guys out on a second date. What do you say, Adam? Give it one more shot with Chelsea. 
I would love that. Aww. All right. That's cute. Guys, I'm so happy, Adam. I'm so excited. Yay. Are you crying? <laughs> a little bit. It must have been quite a night at his yeah. apartment. Or maybe that pill didn't work and you're hormonal. I know. <laughs> if I've learned anything from watching movies about airplanes, mm-hmm. it's that all pilots are handsome and charming <laughs> with a deep, dark secret from their past. <laughs> and all right. flight attendants are exactly 24 years old okay. with a passion for adventure and meeting strange men in far off places. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah. Why am I working here? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a flight attendant. why didn't you go live in the stereotype? I know. Yeah. I really chose the wrong <laughs> career. But we're going to find out if those stereotypes are all really true because we have a flight attendant who's reached out to us for help. Her name's Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea, how you doing? Hey, guys. Oh, oh you yeah. are sweet. Yep. <laughs> it's not like she's going to be like, everybody, just fuck your seatbelt. I know. Put down your compartment. Mm, yeah. <laughs> what are you, 24 years old, Chelsea? I'm actually 23 and a half. Oh. oh there it is. Okay. <laughs> but you reached out to us for help today. Who's the guy that you want us to call? So his name's Adam. Okay. How'd you meet Adam? So I was in town recently during a layover, and I was only here for 24 hours. Okay. And most of my girlfriends, they love to go out with me, but they had went out previously, and so they wanted to use this layover as just relaxing and rejuvenating for the next. But I wanted to go out into the city. Oh, yeah. The passion for adventure. Here it comes. (laughs) Okay. Do a little sightseeing. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, grab a drink. Uh, So my girlfriends were like, why don't you go on Tinder? I'm not really familiar with Tinder. So I downloaded it. It seems exciting. I think that that's funny. Like the better option than just going by yourself (laughs) to get a drink is to just find some (laughs) rando on Tinder. Yeah. Right. Well, because then you're for sure getting someone to like show you around. That's true. Guys always seem hotter when you're traveling too. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Is that what the flight attendants call it? (laughs) Can you show me around (laughs) for tonight? Well, if you say it like that. (laughs) Okay. So I met Adam on Tinder, and I, I mean, honestly, he's really cute and Uh oddly enough he kind of reminded me on his profile of like all of those guys that i serve usually in first class oh wait oh Oh. and wait that was good to you because i mean typically like if it's someone you have to deal with on a regular basis at work it's a turn off money brooke money i'm sorry Mm -hmm. (laughs) okay so he looked rich well i don't really dabble at work so this could be, you know, <laughs> dabble. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. All right. So you've dabbled in business class. How was it? <laughs> All right. Well, he was telling me that he likes a woman in uniform <laughs> and we were making jokes back and forth. And I thought it would be funny to show up in my flight attendant uniform. Oh, that's sexy. That's funny. <laughs> Saying the wrong word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, were, you guys were flirting, and he's like, that would be nice, huh? And you did it. That what is cool. sounds very familiar with this. So I hooked up with flight attendants, and they're freaky. All yeah. right? So you're not tricking me over here, young lady. What did Adam think when you showed up wearing your workout? Oh, my there? gosh. He loved it. Yeah, he did. I love it. He yeah. instantly thinks he's in like this role play dream it's of his so that these two boys have been having for yeah. a while. Yeah. He definitely <laughs> needed one of those moist towelettes. Oh yeah. my god! Okay. I need the button. I need some assistance, please. Okay. okay. Yeah. I guess the thing is, is like you wanted the reaction from Adam that you just got from the gentleman in this room, right? Like that's what you were looking for. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. You knew what you were doing. What happened after that? Well, first of all, I just want to tell you guys, he had me in tears laughing the whole time. I mean, my Aww. my cheeks hurt so bad. And honestly, my guard was absolutely let down. And he took me over to the park. And so we just played around, like played around played in the, around park the park while you were in a pencil. Skirt? I mean, I'm like, young too, but what games are you talking about? <laughs> like, you were on the seesaw together. <laughs> well, like feeding pigeons and like hiding behind like a tree and just like <laughs> being cute. Are you in like, heels this whole what time? Is- like- yeah. It's the TV show Leave It to Beaver. <laughs> Why? I mean, you like... <laughs> well, they had drinks. They're just exploring the city. Why not go to a park and just BS? I kind of understand this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, she it's, can it's do a... no wrong to me. I, I, I feel like <laughs> he's just he's just putting off wanting to ask you back to his place because he doesn't know how to do it. Oh, uh, so like quickly? Mm, yeah. yeah. Did that ever happen? It did. I did hey. sleep over his house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. How did things end with you and Adam? 
Well, I had to catch a flight in the morning, and usually I take an Uber, but he insisted on driving me. Good man. Oh, nice. It felt like that World War II love, you know? Aww. What? World War II love. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> what kind of love is that? Where what? He leaves for four years, and you don't see him for a while, and then you write letters back and forth? It's the one where you just feel super comfortable, and you felt like you've known him forever. Mm. Where does World War II go? <laughs> <laughs> Because I, mean, I, I get yeah. the, the idea. Back in World yeah. War II, that was true love. I'm you imagining know? a soldier kissing a girl, her legs all yeah. pushed out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. You know, yeah. like those and those classic... two people in that classic photo were complete yeah. strangers who never dated. <laughs> That's true. You got all they that. Never dated again. You got yeah. all that from just him offering you a ride to the airport. Yeah. Dang. That's hard to get nowadays. I guess so. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Chivalry is dead. Yeah. <laughs> How was the drop off? It was romantic because I ended up kissing him goodbye. And normally it's kind of awkward the next day, Mm -hmm. but it wasn't. And I'm like, listen, I'm going to text you when I come back into town. And he was super excited and very adamant that I would do that. And, you know, he put my hair behind my ears. Oh, that's always a good move. Mm. I love uh, doing that. Just like Hitler did in World War II. Oh, my God. Jesus. Don't bring Hitler into it, please. <laughs> oh, no. What? It's a World War II love. Okay. Yeah. You would get it if you were there. Wrong side. Wrong <laughs> yeah. side of the war. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess only the Americans found love. Yeah. So this is the part where I need you guys. I don't really know how to navigate this, but... After our kiss and our an amazing night, I went back to work and I couldn't stop thinking about him. Oh, that's so fun. I said, screw it. I'm going to be vulnerable. And I ended up texting him. Okay. Oh, that's oh, cute. Yeah. Good. Nice. Well, good if he replied, but he hasn't replied. Oh. So I waited a couple days and I actually, I got my girlfriend to switch with me to fly back to town. Okay. And when I flew back, I texted him and said, hey, I'm home for a while. Okay. And nothing still? I'd say not even 20 minutes later, he gives me a thumbs up. What? So then I texted him, when do you want to hang out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And? No reply. What? You don't thumbs up a text to someone you're into. No, it's thumbs up is throwing shade. I feel like it's so rude. Yeah, Yeah, it's like, yeah, cool, you're in town. It's like, whatever. Well, I don't know what they did when they were together that night, so it could have something to do (laughs) with that. That's Let's find night. out. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to play a song. We'll come back. We'll call Adam for you, and we'll try and get you your second date. Okay? Thank you. All right. Hold-